I often get emails where people ask me, how can they become an expert at using Creole Parametric? So I just wanna talk about four different steps that you could take in order to do that. First off, I wanna talk about some of the different qualities that you would probably want to have. In order to become the Spock, you kind of wanna be the Hermione. So some of the different qualities that you would want include humility, especially recognizing that just because you don't know the answer to something or you don't know how to do something doesn't mean that that functionality doesn't exist in Creole Parametric. Also, you need a lot of patience. It's going to take a while in order to become an expert. It's not something that happens overnight. And also having a thirst for knowledge and an investigative spirit definitely helps as well. So again, let's talk about the four different things that you could do in order to become that super user or that expert in Creole Parametric. And first, takes classes, take lots of classes. And I personally prefer instructor-led training. That way you could ask questions to a real live person or you can take web-based training. And the web-based training is available through PTC University's Precision LMS. And I'll show you some of that later on. In order to become an expert at Creole Parametric, you definitely want to know about sheet metal, surfing, both the standard technical or parametric surfing and freeform surfing in ISDX and top-down design. And as a bonus, you should also become familiar with simulation, whether that's through Creo Simulate or Creo Simulation Live the manufacturing portions, and also routed systems like cabling and piping. Second, if you really want to master a subject, you want to teach that material to other people. And it doesn't have to be day-long or multi-day or week-long classes. Even if you deliver 10, 30, 60-minute lectures to your coworkers, you're going to end up mastering that material. And don't just teach those classes on the fly. You actually want to develop them. You want to prepare the material and you want to practice it and you want to make sure that those lectures contain a lot of demonstration and also that you leave time for questions and answers because that will help you understand what areas in that topic are of special interest to end users. And also you want to deliver that material multiple times. A little secret that I had from my experiences teaching Creole Parametric is that usually your third delivery tends to be the best. Your first delivery, you really don't know the material that well. Second delivery, you're getting better. Third material is when you, th excuse me, third delivery is when you tend to knock it out of the park. And also, honestly, there are times when I've been teaching the material and I wasn't a super expert at it. And sometimes in the middle of a lecture, things will just click in my head and finally I understand what that material really means. Third, provide tech support to others. Help them with their problems. And in helping others, you're going to learn more yourself. And don't just go based on what's in your head. You want to research the answer, including taking advantage of PTC's resources and develop a relationship with the PTC tech support people because odds are you're going to be communicating with them a lot. Along those same lines, it helps that you participate in PTC user, the technical committees, and the live works conferences. Fourth, you've got to put in the time. As the old joke goes, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. There's no substitute for just creating parts, assemblies, and drawings, and working inside of Creo Parametric. In my humble opinion, the best resources that you have are support.ptc.com, the help, also the online training, the learning connector, and the community. Some of the worst resources I found are your neighbors. Just because someone has been using Creo Parametric a lot, they might not know the right way of doing things. And along those same lines, there are these group messaging platforms like Slack and HipChat. And I find that sometimes they just allow misinformation or wrong answers to be distributed farther and faster. 
All right, let's take a look at a few of these different resources. First one, support.ptc.com. If you don't have a PTC support account, I highly recommend that you sign up for one. And when you're signing up for one, you'll want to get information like your customer number, service contract number, sales order number, and site number from your administrators so that you can upgrade your account so that you have access to the full range of resources from PTC. Now, after you create your account, you can log in, and here is the main support page. From here, you have links that allow you to download the latest versions of the software. You could take a look at the product calendar to see when those new build codes come out. Also, you can browse documentation. For example, if you want to get the spreadsheets of the config.pro options, you can get them from here. But what I find to be the most valuable part is the knowledge base. And you can search the knowledge base in order to get to the different articles that PTC has comp compiled in the different areas. For example, let's say that I am working on shrink wrap and I want to look up in the knowledge base stuff about the shrink wrap feature. Let's just type in that search term and hit the enter key. And here we have 741 results. Some of these, though, deal with other areas like wind chill, which I'm not interested in. So I can filter down just to the topics that relate to Creo Parametric. And so here we can browse through the different results in there. Also, you can filter down based on the content type. For example, let's say that I suspect that I might have encountered a bug in the software, which is known as an SPR or Software Performance Report. I can look just for those particular things. And I can see some of the different issues that were in older versions of the software or I can click the clear button, and instead maybe I'm interested in reading some of the different articles that they have about shrink wrap. And so here we have how to export an assembly model as a solid shrink wrap in Creo Parametric. And I can click on the link, and here we have a description and resolution and other different steps and other links of interest. Now let's take a look at the Help Center in Creo Parametric. So here we have the various different products that are available. Let's go to Creo, and we have the different versions of Creo products. Let's go to Creo Parametric 6.0, and I use the Help a lot. Over here on the left is where we can navigate. There's also a search bar. And for example, let's say that I am interested in some more surfacing. I can expand over here. Okay, here's the style feature. That's ISDX. Let's say I want to do some stuff in ISDX with surfaces. Hey, let's take a look about the uh, defining surfaces. And so here are the different kinds of surfaces that you can create. Okay, let's say that I want to create a boundary surface. I'll go in here and it gives me the step-by-step -step and other related topics. Probably one of the most important things that I find in the help is the what's new for the various different versions. These used to come out in a PDF document, but now they are pages in here. And so, for example, one of the big things in Creo Parametric 6.0 is the model check improvements. And so let's take a look at how reports are improved in Creo Model Check. And here you can see how to get to the command. There are a lot of videos in here now, and so I could watch the video. And these tend to be short, like a minute or two, to tell me what exactly has been enhanced. And here we see some other different information regarding that. Now let's take a look at PTC Community. PTC Community is a bunch of message boards that you can use in order to look up different information. So for example, let me scroll down over here. We've got a bunch of subboards on underneath Creo Parametric. And let's say that I'm interested in part modeling. I can go in here and I can read through some of the other questions that people have asked or even write my own new topic if I want to get some advice and feedback from some of the other different experts who have been using Creo Parametric. And so, for example, as I scroll down over here, okay, taking a look, you can see which ones have already uh, have answers to them. So, for example, Hey, relation to control the minimum and maximum of a flexible part. So here we have someone proposing a question. I can jump right to the solution. And here someone gives some if-then-else stuff. 
in order to write some relations to control the limits of that part. Web-based training can be accessed through precisionlms.ptc.com. Here I am in my account. Here are some of the different subjects that I have recently viewed. Let's take a look at finding training. And I typically look for courses, although you could also look for topics. And right now I have set to Creo Parametric and Creo Parametric 4.0. That's good. Let's hit the search. And we have 16 different courses in this area. Let's take a look at advanced modeling using Creo Parametric 4.0. Over here on the left, oh, it looks like uh, last time I was in this class, I was looking at some draft information. Up at the top, you can download lab and demo files so that you can perform the various different exercises in here. But let's take a, a look at creating sweeps with variable sections. And so here we see the various different topics in here. Let's go to the topic on creating sweeps with variable sections using tangent trajectories. And so here we have the concept, which is sort of the lecture material that steps us through the information on this. And we can go to a how-to video and watch someone perform these steps. And then by clicking on the how-to steps, we can go through this material ourselves. And lastly, you have help available to you directly from within Creo Parametric from the Learning Connector. And we're, the way that you get to the Learning Connector is by the little graduation cap icon in the upper right hand corner. When I click on that, you'll notice that it resizes the main interface. And here we have the Learning Connector over on the left hand side. I'm going to close some of these different things over here about how to get some external resources. But here we have getting started with Creo Parametric. Here are some feature different recommendations. We can also see that there are some tutorials down here and some various different knowledge base articles and help center documents that we can access for that. But let's say that I'm inside of Creo Parametric and I need some help with something like the variable section sweep. Let's type that in here in the search bar variable section sweep and then hit the enter key and then right from in here oh we have some tutorials how to create a variable section sweep using the tragpar relation how to create a beautiful fruit bowl using variable section sweep tool also we can see for some courses in here for some reason we ended up getting uh, some MathCAD classes probably because it came up from the variable term and we can see more here some knowledge base articles some help center documents some community forum stuff as well so again you're able to get what jim heppelman calls just in time training from directly within creo parametric and so these are a few of the different resources that can you that you can use in order to become a super user or an expert in creo parametric I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.